gentlemen, welcome once again to Chikara's Podcast at GoGo, your weekly home for Chikara's brand of professional wrestling. My name is Gavin Loudspeaker. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a look at more action from the incredible, epic King of Trios weekend. This is from night number three. And this is non-tournament action. It's a very, very special tag team attraction where we had our women competitors from Japan get in the ring, duke it out tag team style. Now we've got the team of Kaori Yoneyama, looking for a husband, to t and her partner Minami Toyota, as they will be taking on the team of Command Bolshoi, the very, very funny Command Bol, the very talented Command Bolshoi, she plays guitar as well, and her partner Tsubasa Kuragaki, the powerhouse. Let's take a look right now at these incredible four Joshi talents. Ring general is Manami Toyota. Over 25 years experience. The figure four leg lock is applied, but I don't think she's got all of it, Leonard. No, her right leg is not draped across the foot. Mm -mm. She's just trying to hold her in position. She's communicating something to her partner, Yoniyama, who flies! But still keeps the hold on. Yoniyama go to the top one more time, Mike. Trying to punish the powerful Kuragaki. A great way to wear her out, driving the breath from her lungs. One more time to the top rope goes Kaori Oniyama. Bullshit is not doing her partner any favors right now. Maintaining that figure four leg lock here. Referee Keigo Yoshino of Osaka Pro Wrestling assigned to oversee this one. Kuragaki up, but she was in that figure four leg lock a long time, Mike. Could be looking for the Royal Octopus, and she's got it! Perfect positioning of both legs, one across the head, one with the foot around the back of the ankle, elbow into the midsection for good measure. You got it, Kuragaki has to carry Toyota's weight. Rolls her up, exposes the shoulder blade. She knew she didn't have it and had the presence of mind to give it up. Here comes Yoniyama. Yoniyama's not gonna overpower Kuragaki. Kuragaki just holding on. Trying once again, but to no avail. Yeah. Was this enough? Reversal of the whip by Kuragaki. All the way around, Toriador takes her down. Up and around she goes, but it's Yoniyama who comes out with a body press. Only good for two. Good reversal of momentum there by Yoniyama. She could have been in quite the predicament, but keeping control of Kuragaki here, trying to suplex her. She does not have the leverage to make that work. Series of Mongolian chops. Can she get Kuragaki up? No! Look at the power of Kuragaki! From a suplex to a press slam with ease. Look at the expression on her face. And the most unceremonious of deposits in the middle of the ring as Yoniyama goes face first into the canvas. Bolshoi, look at this. And that was a double stomp to end them all. Crashing down right on the rib cage of Yoniyama. She doesn't have a lot of body weight behind her. She has to use all of it to get maximum impact here. Could she be setting up for a tarantula-like move? Look at Commando Bolshoi. Across the middle strand here. Referee putting the count on. Bolshoi, let's go with the hold. Was able to do some damage as the referee registered a count. Bolshoi exhibiting tremendous dexterity. Yoniyama here trying to mount some sort of offense to try to get back to her feet. Series of shots in the midsection, she's back up. But Bolshoi still in control. How long for we shall see. Spin quick, Northern Light Suplex! Look at the bridge! Terrific execution! There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Incredible Joshi competition right here in the United States on American soil, brought to you only by Chikara Pro. Now, Chikara fans, we will conclude our King of Trios coverage with appropriately the conclusion of King of Trios weekend. We're going to be taking a look at the big final bout between the Spectral Envoy 
and Team Ring of Honor. This is for all the marbles. This is for the title of King of Trios 2012. It all boils down to this, and it was something else. Here it is right now, the finals of King of Trios. Oh, get, get, what is this? Ophidian, Bryce. Ophidian is stepping down the rampway. Oh, and all the Batiri And then, is and then out. Out. it's the Batiri. The entire Batiri. Coming down to ringside. Oh, wait, there's a no, 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 That delay. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't protect you if these guys are coming out here. You can stay back here. They'll, 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 they'll take care of you. Delirious. Delirious is out here. Oh, the overlord of the Batiri. Why are they? Gavin! And... I can't believe it! I can't believe it! It's Crossbow! The original heavyweight horror drives Delirious right to the steel post! And Delirious goes down! Now the Batiri! And it's breaking down oh, here! Oh, oh, Delirious! Oh, We've got all these We've got too many wrestlers! Too many wrestlers at ringside here! This is a very, very dangerous, hectic situation. But the young needs the to get the Batiri out of here. Ophidian is still out here. Now we've got the Young Bucks. You know, security was quick to get the Swamp Monster out of here. They need to get the Batiri out of here now, too. Crossbones using elbows and forearm shots to Ophidian. Meanwhile, Ultraman is black scaling the turnbuckle, but he's beaten to the punch by Mike Bennett, who catches him. Headbutts being traded now in very, very high-risk territory. Bennett goes down over the forearm from Mike, Nick, excuse me, Matt Jackson, pulling Ultramantis all the way, possibly to the tippy-tippy top. Oh, he's looking for a super, oh, Matt just reverses it! Super flex onto the pile of the floor! Everyone is laid out! Mike Bennett, the only man on his feet! There is a pile of humanity laying next to the ring right now from that super duperplex. Oh, Hallowick is, I thought Hallowick was in that pile. No, no Hallowick is way back into the ring. Hallowick with Bennett. He was looking for that step up in Sagiri and Bennett out of the way. Sends Hallowick into the buckle. Get like, the boot up, Hollowick, and go for the cover, man! Then he needs the boot, but Hollowick can go! Oh, locking go it up, the putting it together! Special. The Chikara special! And what is Maria doing on the apron? Maria. He just tapped out! Mike Bennett is tapping out, but referee Bryce but Bryce doesn't, doesn't see, it. see it! Bryce does not see it, Maria distracting Bryce! Well, Hollowick has that Chikara special! No! No! Nick Jackson connects with a super kick! Oh, did he just... He just blasted Maria from point blank, right in the face. He was going for Frightmare and he just laid out Maria. I don't know if Mike Bennett sees it. Hallowick and now. Somebody needs to attend to Maria. Gavin, I'll be back. <laughs> I already gave one person CPR tonight. Hallowick into the ropes. Ah, oh, there it is. Driving hard, Mike Bennett, down and on now, the canvas. Chikara special. There it is, locked in, locked in. Chikara special. The Young Bucks being held at bay. And Mike, Mike Bennett, Bennett taps. Mike Bennett taps. The special envoy, our 2012 King of Trios. And there you have it. Chikara fans, the grand finale of King of Trios weekend. Are you ready for season 12? Can you just taste it? Because it's coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget, nationalprowrestlingday.com. That's on Saturday, February 2nd. Don't forget, WrestleCon weekend in April. And we've got tons and tons of dates coming at you for season 12, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gavin Loudspeaker. We will be back next week for yet another edition 